The closer you can catch a steelhead to the ocean, the better. When they're fresh out of the salt water, they got more spunk, they're still chrome, and they got that ocean camo on them. There's nothing cooler than catching a steelhead that's fresh out of the ocean way up in its river. This trip started a year ago. We went out and just got completely kicked by the weather. It just rained hard on us and blew all the rivers out. We worked extremely hard for three days and just got completely abused by the weather, the water, and the fish. These rivers are highly unpredictable and the weather is highly unpredictable. It's constantly changing. You have rain come in, the water comes up fast, clears up and the, the water drops fast. And in the springtime, you can have late snowstorms that come in, or you can have really warm storms that come in, or you can just have a nice, beautiful, warm, sunny day. And throughout that day, all those conditions change the river that you're fishing. If you have good water conditions, you need to be out there working hard trying to find your fish and and putting up with freezing cold downstream wind in the morning or pouring rain and hail in the afternoon. That's just part of it. And try your hardest in the conditions that you're dealt. When I get to go fishing, I want to have a little solitude and a little space and feel like you're really out there and, and exploring. Floating in small boats allows you to access stretches of river that other people can't access. Picking through those boulders and small water that drift boats and rafts can't access and allowing you to see water that you wouldn't be able to see if you were just driving in. Out on the coast, you can really notice when spring starts coming on and that sun pops out, it feels so warm and just starting to see all the greenery and all the bushes. It's just starts to feel like the river is really coming back to life and the forest is coming back to life after a long winter. Oh, come back for it, big feller. Confidence is key. You got to know that you're going to find that fish in that run. You just have to know it. You have to believe it. And if you believe it, it will happen. It's a fine line between knowing and wanting. You got to know you're going to catch it. 
you can't really want to catch it. Flexibility is key when you're fishing through a section of river. Every spot is going to need a different setup, a different line, a different sink tip, a different fly, and maybe even a different rod. And it's really important that you take the time to adjust, change that sink tip out, or change your fly before you start fishing that run and, and kind of fish the right setup for the right spot. That's huge for success. It's so easy to just get caught up in fishing one setup all day long through all the spots and trying to make it work. But I find it's much better and your results will be much more positive if you take that extra time to change your gear and fish the appropriate setup for the spot.
getting close and experiencing these fish so close to the ocean and seeing them up in, in the rivers, it's a really special thing, it's magical. And at the end of the day, floating out into the estuary and, and just knowing that's where those fish came from and what survivors they've been, dodging predators the whole way through generations to come back and, and being able to catch them on a swung fly, it's, it's really a special feeling.